Hi YouTube world, welcome back to my channel. I wanted to share with you one of, I think, the best holiday releases. And I don't think a lot of people are talking about this. And I don't think it was heavily advertised and I'm not sure why, because I just think this is just a beautiful product. And the product I am talking about is these little guys here. They are from Stila, which again, if you haven't heard me talk about Stila, I actually think they are a really, really underrated brand. So of course, no surprise here, underrated holiday release. And these two palettes in particular are their convertible cheek colors. So back in the day, Stila released these compacts. These are the convertible cheek and lip colors. This is actually the, sh the shade Magnolia. They're really beautiful. They are very, very emollient, creamy pigments, and they're highly pigmented, highly pigmented shades. This one is a beautiful kind of rosy, deep nude color. And they were sort of like the first ones that had these type of products out in the market. People just don't seem to be talking about Stila and these convertible colors anymore. Now, a bunch of brands have come out with cream cheeks, cream bronzers, cream everything, and I feel just like Stila's been left behind. Well, I am happy to say they have taken notice that they have a special product on hand, and they created these smaller palettes, and I'm gonna show you what they look like. This is National Treasure quad number one, and there is a quad number two as well. The National Treasure quad number one includes some of their iconic shades. You'll notice it's a fairly small pan, just so you can see in comparison to their original pan. So it is pretty small, but I really like this because this, I'm more, I'm more willing to mix shades this way. It's easy to get my finger in there, which is how I like to apply the product. It's also easy to get my e.l.f. favorite stipple brush into the product and apply color that way. And in fact, I will just take this pretty peach color and apply some on my cheeks because it's already the end of the day. And even though I have a lot of color left, I actually wore this color today. I'm gonna go and put this peach shade on to match my eye look. And I just think these sit well over makeup, over powdered face too. They're just a wonderful, wonderful product. So this is more, I think, geared for light to medium skin tones. And these contain the shades Lilium, Petunia, Gerbera, and Patina. And the only one I think that is pretty new is Patina, this one here. These three, I remember being part of the standard release that was in these compacts. I will swatch them for you. Lilium is probably like the most iconic shade. It's this perfect pink. So this one has a little more coral in it. And then the deep shade of that patina. Which actually swatched is not that deep. See if we can build it up. There we go. This is really, I think, a pretty safe palette and it would just be something you would actually use and it's wearable and it's wonderful. And I think, I'm, I mean, I'm really happy to have these shades, especially in this quantity, because I have a lot in my collection and this I'm more willing to bring out, play around with different combinations and actually use it. I don't know if these are gonna come to different sites, but I got mine at the Stila website and I was able to like register for their site and I got 20% off and everything. So there are discounts to be had. Um, the one that I'm most excited about is the quad number two. If you just like 
color because all of these colors can really be sheared out and they're not the level of intensity that they kind of look like in the pan. And that's this one here. <gasps> Is this not just beautiful? Oh my goodness. Look at this. It has this vibrant, vibrant magenta, this really strong orangey peach, this red, which is beautiful, beautiful. And then this deep, deep rose. And I just think this is gorgeous, gorgeous. These make great lip shades. So it is a convertible lip and cheap product. And this one excites me more for the lips. I just think these colors are just beautiful. And they're so easy to apply. All right, I, I wiped off my lipstick so that I can actually give you a good swatch. This one. And these are really always very comfortable on the lips, but they provide sort of a stained effect. And you could play around with tones and colors and mix and match. I'm going to go in with that vibrant red. I mean, that is... And that just gives like this popsicle stain effect. I just, I love, I love these products and these are wonderful. Let me do swatches of all of them for you. Just so you can see. So that's this one. Now, the one thing I will mention is all of these shades appear to be brand new shades, shades that I've never seen in the larger compact. And the shade names are different from the original names. And what I mean by that is, I feel like the original names were all named after flowers, and I don't think any of these are a, a flower name. So this palette has a lot more contrast. I mean, look at that. Oh, so pretty, right? Just so, so nice. So that's this palette here. This is the quad number two. And the shades in this one, the names are Fuchsia, Gladiola, Besso, and Rose. Rose and Gladiola are flowers and they are, they are here. Rose is the one next to Fuchsia. Maybe Rose and Gladiola were, were were part of the original release. I'm not sure. But either way, I looked on Stila site and I could not find any of these shades sold in the single convertible shade. So this might be the only way you can get a fresh one if you loved the shade back in the day. But I just think it's just a great, great release. I think it's easy to use and you would use a lot of it. So yeah, I wanted to just jump on and share that with you because I feel like I might be the only human being who ever talks about Stila sometimes. And I do really enjoy a lot of their releases. So this one is no exception. I love, love these two palettes and they're just bite size and perfect. And uh, um, if I'm going to be critical, their packaging is a tiny bit on the thicker side, which is kind of unusual for Stila. Usually their packaging is like pretty slim. Like I'm just looking at their, this is their, um, their tinted moisturizer skin balm, which I adore. And you'll see like, it's it's quite thick. I, I don't think they had to be this thick. I, I do prefer the minimal packaging there. But other than that, I just think they're really great product really great product. So let me know your thoughts. Are you as excited about seeing some of the convertible colors come back in some way, shape, or form? I know I am. So anywho, comment down below, tell me what you think, and we'll talk soon. Take care, everyone. Have a good night. Bye.